Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Infotech with Zafar Khan. Today I am going to discuss a new lecture of DevOps series that is lecture number 21. The agenda of this lecture is how to create a personal access token for authentication to push the source code into GitHub. Earlier what happened when the developer developed the code and pushed into GitHub it was asking user ID and password for authentication. Now support for the password authentication was removed since 13 August 2021. When you try to push the source code using user ID and password, it will give the fatal error that is authentication failed. So this is a development environment. When developer uh, try to push the code into the GitHub account, it will give the fatal error. When it will give the fatal error? When he try to give the password for authentication. It will ask the password for authentication and when he give the password, user ID and password, it will give the fatal error. So this is the uh, basically authentication failed. Uh, so it will it is asking the user ID and user ID and the password. So I have given the user ID and password. So it is saying that support for the password authentication was removed on August 13, 2021. So this was the fatal, I mean, it's authentication is failed. It's give the fatal error. Authentication is failed. Let me show you. Okay. So let's go to the development box. So this is uh, the development environment I have created in AWS EC2 instance. Git is already installed. Okay, so I think I have installed the git. So let me check again. Git version. Yeah, so git is already there. Okay. So let me uh, clone first. So what I will do, I will clone it from the repository. Okay. So git clone and then URL. Copy the URL from the git repository. So just I have copied this one and paste over here yeah so it is now clone okay so now this first demo is came over here when I clone this this is the first demo this is the repository which is came over here when I clone this one okay so under this uh, first demo I rest first demo there is a file called index.html okay so let's see the contents index.html okay so here the small code is written over here this is the basically uh, one screen will show yellow color and the text would be the black so this is the text with uh, written over here hi all you are watching the youtube channel infotech with the farkhan so what i will do i will add one more line okay currently it is showing what exactly here it is okay because i have cloned this file so the same file is showing over here so i will add one more line here okay and i will just after saving this one i will try to push into the github account so it should be come with another line okay so let me do here so there is another line called s3 we'll write some message please subscribe my channel so this line I have added, just close this line as well, S3, okay, and save it. So after saving, you have to um, save here, I commit as well, git, add, then git, commit, hyphen m.
put some message index dot html okay so this three line here i have added okay so now i will try to push over here i have already created authentication so how to create this one what you will do you just click over here in the profile okay username profile so go to setting okay and on the bottom line just developer setting click over here so there there are two options three options are here github apps auth apps and the personal access token so i am using personal access token so under this personal access token there is a fine grain token okay so i will click over here the fine grain token and just generate the new token so let me generate the new token that would be great okay so i am deleting this one okay and just click the generate new token put the token name over here i am putting khan and expiration date would be 30 days description put anything so like create generate generating new auth token okay the resource owner so basically the username which i have the username of this one and i will put all the repository over here okay and just fill all these things permissions what all permissions you required so action you will just do the read write action administrative work obviously i will do for the read write and code scanning alert yes and code space read write okay then code is uh, lives admin yeah i put, put the read so i would suggest put all these things okay read write or read whatever contents read write then read only okay so now this is completed now this one block yeah I sh it should be read right so let, let's fill all SSH signing yes right so overview 21 permissions and 14 account permissions I have it as well. now finally we will click the generate token it is generated okay so what I will do I will copy over here and put somewhere in the same place okay minimize it go to the setting or in the first demo right so now it's not I when when I will push it then it will show over here the third line as well So I have committed and now just git push hyphen u hyphen f origin 
master it is asking the user id if you if i put the user id and password it will ask the authentication fail okay why because i have given the user id and password but when i put the authentication token i mean authentication key which i have generated let's see what happened so it is now pushed okay so everything is now 100% it's working now okay and let me check over here whether it is third lines are also coming or not yes the s3 i have added and it is coming now so please subscribe my channel earlier it was only two line hi all you are watching the youtube channel infotech with zafar khan and after cloning this one i have added over here modified the file okay in the in the uh, dev op, dev box and when i committed it and pushed into the github account and it is finally posted okay so i am able to push it now so this is all of this is all about the um, create personal access token for authentication so developer can use this token when they push the source code into the github so whenever he developer want to push the source code into the github they can use the uh, personal access token which i have generated and this is for the authentication purpose okay if you have any questions regarding this topic please feel free to put into the comment section of this lecture i will get back to you in at the earliest thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to click the subscribe button please